Have you ever been out camping and had your slides fail to retract, or your sensors stop working, or your air conditioner go crazy? Well, we have too, and it's probably because of one thing. In our last video, you saw me trapped in our RV. In this video, we are going to show you how to reboot the Precision Circuits touchpad so that you don't end up in a dangerous situation like I did. We have four corner pieces that have tiny slots for a screwdriver. So all you have to do is put the screwdriver... Okay, we have to back up a minute. Turns out we were doing it the hard way. We never want to steer you wrong. We always want to show you how to do things the right way. So before putting this video out, we went ahead and gave Precision Circuits a call and found out that there's an easier way to do this than unscrewing your touch screen. We're going to first show you how to do a diagnostic. And then we'll show you the right way to reboot your Precision Circuits touchpad. So the Precision Plex that we have in our coach and a lot of other new coaches have the same system is a little bit different in the way that the battery is wired up to the way that it used to be. So in this case, the battery is wired to a master control, which not only distributes power, but also turns the appliances on and off. Okay, now I'm gonna give it back to John so that he can go to the control panel. If you have a Fleetwood Bounder 35K, I'm sure this applies to a 33C as well, you'll find your Illumaplex panel behind the television in the bedroom. Here is the Illumaplex control board. We're going to use the Illumaplex to see if there are any communication errors within the coach. I'm going to press the up and the down button simultaneously. And then we get the warning screen. Once there, we will use left or right to enter diagnostic. Now you may have noticed that the lights went off when I went into the diagnostics. I can check things like fuse status, input, single power control, group power control, motor control, dimmer control, but we are going to check module status. Once here, I hit the center button to select the item. And here we have four options, and each one gives us dash lines. That means each one is good. Otherwise, it would tell us no calm. So right now, everything in our coach is communicating with the Lumina panel properly. Back when I was locked in the RV, that would have been a very good time to come back to the Luminaplex board and to check the systems. In the making of this video, I did contact the company Precision Circuits who makes the Illumiplex and ask them how to do this diagnostics so that the next time it happens, whether or not the slide stops working or the um, tank levels are incorrect or the air conditioner stops working, I can come to this panel, do the diagnostics, find out what's wrong, take a picture and send it to their technical support for assistance. Now that we see everything is good, we're going to go back to the main menu. We need to take it out of diagnostic mode so that the systems on the coach work properly. I will hit the left button and then I'll hit the left button again. And one more time and there we are back at the main menu. What I'm going to do now is attempt to reboot the precision circuits panel using the battery cutoff switches. If you have a Fleetwood Bounder, the cutoff switches are located near the front door of your vehicle. Now, if you have a different type of RV, check your owner's manual for the location of these switches. This worked really well for us. In fact, we haven't had a problem with our slides or our air conditioning or the tank levels being off since we did the reboot. So next week, it is back to camping again.